welcome to the Mendota Ranch. So today we are getting some shoes put on some horses. I've got me testing out a, a new horseshoe. Cody Clark here. He's doing a good job, man. So I hope so. You know he's a good horseshoe when he shows up. What are you 45 minutes late? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just about. <laughs> Yeah. Farrier time, that's only 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, farrier time's only 15 minutes, yeah. So he's got a cool rig. Look at this rig. Got all this stuff in here. That is sweet. I tell you this this rig is something now. State of the art. State of the art horseshoe right here. Huh? Fancy, <laughs> fancy, fancy. Yeah, you know he's a good horseshoe when he shows. Well, you're 45 minutes late, and then we got to sharpen tools, and um, so that that's no, I'm just kidding. That's just funny. So we're shooting horses today. Yes, sir. I'm gonna glue these stuff. Glue them on. Yeah, I see you, bud. So normally I would be holding the horse for him, but since I'm filming, I'm I, I just kind of tied Macho up. So we're getting Macho caught up, uh, get new shoes put on it, and then my other horses. I've gone barefoot with them for a little while, but their feet have really gotten behind. Oh, did I mention how cold it was here today? So I think it was about nine degrees now. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, freaking nine. Freaking cold. And it's about I don't know. 10 30 11 o'clock it's freaking cold <laughs> yeah so that's why we're all bundled up sitting in the barn i ain't very tough i'm not very tough at all so yesterday if y'all watched my video from yesterday i was fighting fire and it was freezing up so we got the, my bucket is freezing up so the problem is which i'm gonna try this nasty pig water see if it's there's no ice on it maybe it's got so much crap in it it won't freeze and it's funny the the pig poop doesn't freeze or it didn't freeze as bad as like the water would so our water buckets on helicopter are freezing up but there's something so toxic in pig crap that it doesn't freeze but <laughs> we we need a little bit of pig crap here today because we're i'm freaking cold <laughs> yeah don't, yeah let's don't drink the don't drink the pig water <laughs> Yeah, I mean, she's a bossy thing. Almost like a little old abscess. Oh, yeah, it's kind of got some little, 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 little separation there. Yeah. Shows the newest horse to the string. Got little cow horse feet. Yeah, little cow horse feet. He's a little horse. Yeah. You should have seen him when I bought him. He was really little. <laughs> I want to trade him for him. There we go. Take it down. So what size you got there? These are double lots. Double lots. Yeah. And double lots on the hind. These are a little smaller. Okay. A little smaller pattern. We got Liddy. Be kind of more like a triple lot here. But I bet it's plenty big for this tiny foot. Yeah. To do some grinding and shaping. Yeah, a little shaping there. I like it. Down there fit. So I was asking Cody how he got into. Uh, shooting horses and he's like, hey, you know this guy named Jason Ike? And it just so happened that he was my, one of my college roommates. So it's pretty pretty funny that it's I mean, a small world, so. Should have done that on that last 
last foot. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Get them low nails, they'll break that foot off with them. Yep. So, so what he was doing there was getting the clinches off the nails. The nails are clenched over, and so you unclench them before you pull them usually. If not, like you said, a lot harder, and you can tear a foot up pretty good. So what are you looking at there? This is kind of balanced. The proper way is over here. So I can tell he's a little high on the inside. Oh, okay, I got And you. then I can just really look at the way his so foot's... Before you get started there. Yeah, yeah. I had some little nippers at one time. <laughs> they disappeared with the ranch hand. Man. Yeah. Like I was saying, just wait till you have a horseshoe or yeah. here. <laughs> So a horse that's already been shod, and when we're just re-shoeing him, it's amazing how much better the feet look. Like you get a, we get these other horses that haven't been shod. It's going to take, what do you think? Probably two I'd or three trips. Yeah, I say three shoeing. Get them back. Get them back lined out. Yeah. At least as good as, as you're going to get them. Got that old cowboy nailing job on. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you, hey, God. I'm trying to help you. I'm kind of clinching over here trying to help you. <laughs> At least you didn't have clips on, huh? Yeah, no clips. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so my niece brought some, brought a horse over here that was, wasn't very good to pick his feet up, and some asshole put freaking clips on his, on his, <laughs> on him, and uh, I had about three prolapses trying to pull this freaking <laughs> shoe off. And, and the asshole that put the clips on my, I think his name's Cody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did not, he didn't want to, he didn't want to come back. That horse, that horse is a pain in the ass. He was not a freaking good one to be shooing. Now I want to come back for seconds on that one. first don't do the front foot boys so it's what we decided once they smell the front foot burning off the back foot might, yeah. might not go as smooth so that was good yeah. you, just, you just never know you never know what's going what's going to happen Is 
see where I'm off and yep. go back and fix it. That's cool. You know, when I was in college, we went, instead of having computer class, we had a horseshoe in class, and the hardest thing for me was learning how to shape it. You know, I, I, I just made too many trips to the anvil to shape the shoes, you know? Definitely the hardest part to learn, I think. Yeah. I graduated, I, I graduated first from a class in horseshoe class. Of course, our horseshoe, horseshoe school was like a week, you know, so it wasn't like horseshoe school. So I was like, hey, see how many horses you, how many horses you can nail shoes on? Yeah, how many can you get done for? Yeah, yeah. So we don't have to know. Yeah, so we, yeah. that's pretty much what it was. No matter how good of a job you do, somebody on YouTube is going, going to talk, <laughs> going to talk crap on you. They're probably better than me. Yeah, everybody's everybody's an expert on. Well, not everybody. There's a bunch of people experts on YouTube. <laughs> Tell me what got you into two horses. Man, I was just kind of cowboying around and day working. And, uh, like you said, that Jason Ike guy. I was living with him and he's like, "Come on, shoot these horses with me." Right. And I went and helped him and we had a good time. And, he was like, man, you're built for it. You might as well go to shoeing school. And I was like, I have nothing else planned. Yeah. So I went on. I, I expected to keep cowboying and just shoeing part time or something. But as soon as I got out of school, I never looked back. And I just kept shoeing every day. And rode with as many people as I could. And yeah. Went to clinics around the country and as far as I could go. Yeah. Went to shoeing competitions. And here I am. There you are. Still learning every day. And probably won't ever quit learning every day. Right. <laughs> Uh, and so how long have you been full time oh, in it? About, I think it's about three and a half years. Good. Three full time by myself. Nice. Yeah. You know, I've helped people here and there. But yeah. I like you said that. I try to get that out of the way early. <laughs> That's a good deal. So you drove this thing all the way up to New York, you'll get yeah. it. Yeah. That ample deal. Yeah, they had. The way that thing folds back Man, into there. They was mad at me by the time they got done designing that thing. Oh. I wanted it to be right height so i like my anvil pretty dang low yeah. so i can build shoes and stuff so so that so that was a custom deal huh yeah. so you the you told them you told them how, how how you want your hand i told them you know i measured where i like it and with this pickup it was way too high so they had to lower it down oh yeah so they had this is adjustable so the real yeah. tall guy could have it way up here and real i can it'll go down about right there so that bunch of new york made this for you uh -huh. bay horse in a video Ah, bay horses, man. Them, them Yankees are easy to piss off. <laughs> I went, you know, I went to school in upstate New York for two years. Oh, dang. Yeah. You don't no, have I, an accent anymore. No, I lost, yeah. No, they, yeah, I know how the New Yorkers work. <laughs> that shoe on there what what advantage does that give you man if you're shaping shoes hot you might as well be burning on anyway yep and then when you burn on it you burn your trim in and kind of makes it all nice and level that's yeah. what keeps shoes on is two flat surfaces yep yeah, yeah be, and yeah. also i mean the people say it kills all kinds of all kinds of bacteria and chemicals that yeah. can get up in that white line i don't know it just makes it's part of my routine and i I couldn't imagine doing it without it every day. Well, just getting the getting the surface per, the surface perfectly level yeah. with that shoe. Yeah. That's the secret. Make you a seal there. Oh damn! There goes the heat. <laughs> <laughs> that something feel pretty good in yeah, here. Yeah, hell. Open that thing up. And let it. Oh, Yeah, I think we could do a YouTube video on just an hour long video of, uh, of just shaping hot shoes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it'd probably be like some kind of soothing video. If they want to see that, I have a one. We can plug one of my guys in. We can do that. <laughs> There's a 
there's a channel called the WCB and it's a guy named Craig Turnka and he just makes makes all kinds of crazy shoes on there forges them out good smell ah. Brandon smoke <laughs> How, why does hoof smell like hair good well, that's the same thing. Yeah, I guess so. Better <laughs> put safety glasses on. Oh, you don't want that. <laughs> we don't do freaking safety around here. Safety glasses? You got one working eye. Yeah, you only got one good eye. Yeah, hopefully, it'll get my bad eye. Yeah, there you go. The purpose of that's that. called my boxing and safing like you have this part of the shoe hanging out from the foot you know yeah and when something is gonna if he say he grazes that when he steps on it he'll slide off instead, ah, I got instead you. of just catching so flat circles. it all yeah uh, and just for prettiness i guess yeah even though it is pretty okay So you're saying that those copper line nails they claim maybe well yeah it says some like kind of bull crap on them yeah like it'll say anti anti-bacterial bacterial and stuff like that they got arthritis it's yeah like, kind of like the little the bracelet yeah you know? That's a, you know you can throw all kinds of claims yeah. out there i like them hey i like them yeah they don't rust so i like they that. don't rust yeah. good yeah they rust didn't good I think the old guy that taught us horses, his name Bob Walter. I yeah, I think that was yes, that him. Guy. He's a freaking old grouchy son, yeah, but I heard him. Yeah. I think he's still alive. Yeah, I think so. He came here. Uh, what? What? That? Yeah, is that? What's the guy that wrote the book Well Shaw? Don Baskin. Don Baskin. So Don Baskins came out here. Oh, I'd been a long time ago, yeah. and uh, he. He had he had a couple horses to shoot for a couple of my customers, and he saw how many how many mares I had at the time. And of course, he pulls up in his car, and, and it's he's got a handicap sticker on there. <laughs> and so we get out of there, and we get his horses shot, and he comes back and he goes, "Well, Jason, I'm gonna give you this book of mine. It's called Well Well Shod by uh, Western Horsemen. Put it out." And uh, he said, I'm gonna give it to you because anybody who owns as many mares as you do is too stupid to buy it. <laughs> so, yeah, so I was like, gosh, dang it. Well, every, story, every story I've heard of him, he's, he's, he's not afraid to say what he's thinking. No he, no, he was pretty funny. I thought he was gonna die two or three times because he's so old and crippled, but he, he, got, he got him shot. It was good. He's still around. Yeah, Don, old Don Baskin. That's funny. Yeah, now they have a store well shot here in Amarillo. What? Yeah, the shoe supply store. In Amarillo? Yeah. Oh, it's called Well Shod. I didn't know it. Yeah, the biggest. Such thing. I want to say it's the biggest shoe supply store in the world. What? Yeah. In Amarillo, Texas? Yeah. That's where you, that's where you go drink coffee and hang out. Yeah. <laughs> The other board down there. Yeah, he's, he's getting it done. Yeah, right, one down. Hey. Oh, bub. Watch it. There. But still, we're filming back here, bub. <laughs> Give him some excitement. Yeah. So, so what? What's the thinking on um, two nails on the inside? Man, I just 
I think it, like these little feet, man, they don't really, really need six big old nails in there, I think. Yeah. Less holes I can poke in their foot, I think the better to And if I can get away with it, I'll do it. Gotcha. Hey, hey. I know. I'm getting pissed at me. Pissed for taking this long, isn't he? Stand still for one second. One second, Macho. Macho. Doug, come here. You're make me do something here. Stand here. Stand here. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Very good. Very good. There you go. What's the, uh, what's like the going rate for shoeing and trimming and all that kind of stuff? All around here, I get about 50 on a trim, 125 on a full set, just plain cheap. That's about, about average for, for the guys around here that are doing it full time. Right. You know, other parts of the country, they're getting upwards to 300 bucks a full set. Really? Yeah. 300, good man. Yeah. Yeah. What's so special about that? I don't know. <laughs> Nothing. Just, they got people convinced to pay them more. Right yeah. There. <laughs> He does have little feet. They look good though. Happy with it. There's always something I'll change. Yeah. <laughs> That's the name of the camera, yeah. Alright, Cody, you got anything else to say to the camera? No. I appreciate the work. Yeah. There you go. Alright, well we got we got one more to do. We're gonna go ahead and knock this thing out, but um the battery's about dead on the GoPro just because it's like zero degrees yeah. outside. <laughs> So uh, we're going to get after it. Thanks for following. Don't forget to share this to your horse buddies, and we will catch y'all next week. See you.